Hey guys, Jason Sam Koviak here, Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Today we're going to talk about stump shooting, and we're going to go out and do some stump shooting, but I want to talk about points here real quick. You can use a hex head, blunts, you can use judos, anything you want to. I personally prefer to use judos myself, and there's a couple reasons for them. Um, now, hex heads would be my second choice because they work fantastic, and if I small game hunted a lot, I'd probably be using hex heads. But what I like about judos is they don't stick in the ground. These wire arms really catch really well and uh, prevent it from digging into the ground. That's one thing. But I like the weight flexibility of these as well, too. So I can use a glue-on 135 grain judo, and then I can use either a 47 grain aluminum insert, 100 grain or 75 grain um, steel insert or a 100 grain steel insert or 125 grains which i didn't pull them out because they look the same but these are 125 grains right there um, but you can use those in that head and make sure that they fine tune to meet the same weight as what your broadheads are so that's one advantage the other advantage is that they fit in your quiver so if you look at my quiver here you can see i have a judo in there let me spin this over even better here for you but you can see right there I have a judo and they actually will stay in your quiver um, because of that head. That's a major advantage to me. I like that for when I'm out uh, hunting. I don't have to have an arrow backwards. When you see an arrow backwards in somebody's quiver and it's mounted in there like this sitting in there like that, that is because they have a hex head or a rubber blunt or something that means that the head will not fit inside of the holes in the quiver, so they put the knock end in and leave it sit like that. Nothing wrong with that. That works great for a lot of people, but a judo lets me put that judo head in there uh, the same way you would a broad head so that you end up with your heads all in line in there, and it works really good. So that's kind of the advantage to me of judos. They're efficient. They're very, very strong. They hold up very well, and they take a lot of abuse, a lot of abuse. And they do work good for small game as well, too. They're a little uh, hit or miss sometimes on there, um, but usually even so, they, they do the job. Um, and they, um, they can stick in trees. So, again, I think for small game hunting, a hex head... Um, or a blunt is probably a better option, but for stump shooting, I don't think anything beats a judo uh, because they do stick in a little bit. They do let you know where you hit at. The arrow's right there. They don't get lost very easy, and they fit in your quiver. So I'm a big fan of judos, plus you have the weight changeability, which now you can also do with hexes and blunts as well too. So, But it is a nice setup. So we're going to grab the tripod. I'm going to go out and show you a little bit about stump shooting. <coughs> All right, so what is stump shooting? Stump shooting is basically anything that you want to shoot at that's in a natural environment. It doesn't necessarily have to be stumps, although people usually look at that. But any leaf, any piece, to, anything that's out there that's natural that you want to shoot at, you can go ahead and shoot at. Um, mostly stump shooting is done by traditional bow hunters because a lot of compound guys, their bows are shooting very fast. They're shooting lightweight arrows. They're a little more uh, susceptible to breakage, things like that. But stump shooting for a traditional guy is an ultimate way to practice. And they're a lot of fun. As you know, if you're shooting a traditional bow, you love to shoot the bow. So here... You know, I'm just looking, at, I'm walking around my yard, but you can see I got stumps out there. That stump right there, about 23, 24 yards away, I can shoot at that. Um, you know, and then I, I pick a spot on it. So, like, if you look at that stump, uh, let's take that far one, that big piece of bark on there. I'm going to go right where that black thing is in the middle of it. I go ahead and shoot, and uh, then my arrow's just going to stay there. So, let's see how we do here. Like that. Just stump shooting, as you can see. So I put that, I was aiming for that speck of black on there and I hit right on the bark next to it. I don't know if that will actually zoom in very well here to see, uh, cause I can't see where you are in here. I'm gonna move the camera for a minute so I can see where we're at. Uh, that is that one, there's the big one. Yeah, so you can see it right there where I hit. You can see my feathers right there next to that dot on that stump right there. So that's basically stump shooting. I was aiming for that black hole in the middle of that stuff uh, right there. So you can kind of get a feel for what it is. But that's basically stump shooting is what it is. So you just wander around and look for anything that you want to shoot at. Let's show some more examples. Now stump shooting also can just be an object in the ground. Like you can see I got centered there, that black spot right there just a leaf that's on that little pile right there just sitting there but something like that is also a very effective target because these judos these tips do not get lost in the ground so when i shoot at that right there 
like that, you can see that arrow just kicked up and it's not lost. It's just laying there. So when I, you can see, so even from back here, you know, 15 yards, I can see where that arrow is. I can walk right over uh, and find that arrow just laying there. Very simple, very easy. So it doesn't get lost. Here's that part I was aiming at was this right here. I can't see the center of the camera on there, but that's basically what I was aiming at right there. And my arrow just kind of popped up and is laying right here, very easy and ready for me to find right there. So uh, again, that camera brackets in a way, but right there. So very simple, very easy process, nothing complicated about it. Let's see another one. See now here's another one right there in the middle that little nub sticking up right there. I don't even know what that is. That could just be a branch, could be a little stump. I'm not quite sure, because we're quite a ways away from it, but it is a perfect target, uh, something to shoot at. So I, again, I just, you know, stop anywhere I want to, take my bow, take my judo. I get set up, I look at that, I want to see if I can hit it. Um, if it's soft, we'll blow through it and the arrow will be there. If it's hard, it'll stop the arrow and it'll be there, if I hit it, that's pretty small. But so you come in, get yourself set, Oh, and I just missed it, so I don't even know what it was. But um, but anyway, point being, that's it. Just wandering around. But that arrow will be just laying right there. So if we come up to it. And we walk over. Oh, it looks like it's just a pine branch. A little bottom of, or a section of, uh, no, it's an old stump. It is an old stump there. But uh, I just missed it. But like I said, you can see that arrow, even out here in its soft leaves, not gone. That arrow is just sitting right there waiting for me to pick up. So stump shooting is a very simple functional thing. Uh, we'll find another example like maybe an N1 or something here for you as well too. Now these are one of my favorites are these end logs. Like you can see right here. Let me zoom you in a little more here. Hang on. Um, oh come on. Uh, apparently I can't zoom anymore, but right behind my dog there, there's an end log because it's out there ways, but the end of a log. So that one's been cut by a chainsaw. I actually cut that one, um, but it's just sitting right there. It's about a five inch diameter end log. So, you know, if you put it in there, you're in a good spot. So it makes it really kind of nice, um, you know, a nice target to shoot at, um, obviously without a dog back there. So I'm gonna call her over here, but those end log, you know, anything you want to shoot at is definitely shootable. Let's zoom you out so you can see it for the shot here. Riley, come here. Riley. All right, she's gone. She's good enough now. Um, but so anyway, I got to shoot through this brush that's here as well too. And we got a, you know, 15, 18 yard shot right on that end log right there, which let's see if we can get her here like that i actually hit it skipped off of it and you've seen it go right up into that tree but again those arrows don't get lost so it just makes it a great uh you should have been yeah see an arrow sticking in a tree right above it um so it's a perfect setup they're great stump shooting is so much fun there you never run out of targets so many possibilities so many things to shoot at um and it's just to get you out in woods you can use it to combine with scouting let's see another example now there's another one, just a perfect stump sitting there that's pushing about probably 30 yards from where I am right now, 28, 30 yards away. And, uh, but a perfect example of a good stump. I mean, if I hit that, that's a kill shot on an animal without fail. So I come in, just come in, find your line, pick your spot, line up with somebody, do this with friends, buddies, family, or just out roving by yourself. Perfect way to spend a day. Oh, and I just went to the just to the left of it, but uh, but like I said, that gives you a perfect example of being out stump shooting, and uh, hopefully you're doing better than I'm doing when you're doing it. But it shows you just a fantastic way to be outside enjoying it and shooting your bow a little bit. There's another example of an end log one right there. You can see that end of that log. These are out there in the woods as well too, because people cut things and all kind. You know, I mean, they're out there, but occasionally these are my favorite. Like I said, you're looking at about a four inch diameter, three and a half inch diameter log sitting right there waiting for an arrow to be in there and i uh, got some brush right here in front of the camera where i got to deal with but those are you know perfect shots that's you know about a 18 20 yard shot line her up bring her in right there like that you know it just makes for a perfect uh type of shooting setup and stump shooting just absolutely a uh, very fun here's real world so you can see all the brush just right here that i shot through but just makes for a fantastic day out in the woods playing around
Now here's that arrow that I just shot and you can see it. You can see that it actually wedged all the way in past those spring arms. It is buried in the end of that pine log. It's in there. Um, but again, they, these judo heads are very tough. You just take that and I can wiggle it right out and bring it right back out of there. And all of my arms, wherever I'll bring this over to the camera here where you can see it. Let me zoom you out a touch. But so you can see, all those arms are still perfectly intact. A little bit of wood on there, tap it on your hand, comes right out, and everything is basically uh, ready for more shooting. So like I said, they hold up incredibly well. You can see how beat up this one is It's on here. Uh, they take it really well, but just a fantastic, uh, just a great way of shooting. Ooh, look at that one right there too. We're going to back up and then take a shot at that one here. Because um, I see another one of these end cap ones right here. Right there, about a two inch, about a two inch diameter end cap, and uh, I want to see if I can hit. It. I'm actually just going to leave the tripod right here, and uh, I'm going to back up there. So I'm going to go back and give it a shot, and see what we find. And, no, I'm going to bring it back here with me, so we can show you the whole effect of everything. But uh, I love shooting at these um, kind of scenarios. So let me just walk you back here a little bit. We're going to come back. Sorry about this. I'm going to let the camera roll while I'm doing it. I'm sorry, I want to be here. Where is it? I can still see it. Yes, I can still see it. A little bit of brush to shoot through, kind of a pocket right there. So here is about a, uh, I'm going to say we're probably 17, 18 yards, 19 yards. Where is it at there? Right there. So you can see it right in the middle. Right uh, there, right up there is that little head of that one. We're going to take a shot at it. I'm going to zoom this out. You can see the shot actually happen. And how far we really are from here. So we're going to give it a whirl. See if I can wiggle this through between these branches. And see if we can hit the end of that black end log. That's a tight one. Let's see what happens here. Like that. Nice. So we nailed it right on there. Perfect shot. And you can see it. You can see that arrow sticking out of there. I'll bring you over there. I'm going to pop you right off this tripod because we're about done with this. Let me get you out of there. All right, there it is. There's that shot right there. You can see it perfect here as far as, uh, let me zoom you out right there. That's that shot on there. And you can see, again, that judo goes right in and those arms are sitting right there waiting for it. So it's very easy to pull that out. Um, but this is a great way to be out, like I said, roving. The key thing to remember is that you want to, um, you know, you want to make sure you're paying attention to your hit locations on, on the target, okay? Hitting a two foot by four foot stump doesn't mean you're shooting good. You need to pick a spot on those stumps and then shoot at those spots and uh, and then see how you are. Like this kind of a setup here with that diameter, anywhere I hit on that log is a kill shot. That's what I like about these end log ones. There's, you know, anywhere I would have hit that would have definitely been a dead animal. So that's the key thing to remember. But you can shoot 40 yards, 30 yards, 20 yards, whatever you want through the trees. Uh, variable distances and it's real world practice all right it's not standing 20 yards from a hay bale or 20 yards from a 3d target and shooting the same thing over and over again stump shooting is real world experiences over things through things uh through the woods deceptive uh perception in your mind as far as uh terrain goes things like that it's a fantastic way to be out in nature and getting the best form of practice you can as a traditional bow hunter and these judos do a good job I wiggle pop and then it comes out but that judo right there is a fantastic tool to let you get out and enjoy this uh and do it real world and there's tons and tons i mean like i said there is no target that's not a good target any belief anything you can find anything that jumps out at you uh as i'm standing here right now let's just zoom in closer uh so we can see but just where i'm standing at there is a little stump right there. I'm going to use my arrow to point this stuff out at, but there is a little stump right there. Phenomenal. I would shoot at that. There is another little one right there. Fantastic. Another one right there. Great. Shoot at that. Great. Put one right in that knot hole of that tree right there. Try to knock that mushroom off of that one. Uh, right next to that oak tree, there's a little one right there. So you can shoot bigger stumps. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You can definitely, um, you know, shoot, you know, there's an end cap one right there like that. Um, you know, here's a little stump right here, just like that's perfect. Now you could shoot bigger stumps and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Like uh, you're seeing between the trees over there, there's a good stump right there. You wanted to try and tuck it through there at a 45 yard shot. 
you could maybe try that. Um, but I like the smaller stumps where if I hit it, I know I'm killing that animal. Okay. It's not like a big stump where I could, like if this were a stump here, for example, it's not like I was shooting at this. And if I hit here, I'm, ex I'm calling that acceptable when I was actually aiming at that. Okay. That's not acceptable. Um, so I like the, the smaller ones where there's no, no cheating or getting away with it. So I, I, I like that kind of stuff, but, uh, get, grab yourself a judo get out do some stump shooting have some fun get out in the woods enjoy it it is a beautiful 62 degree day here in march uh we still have snow on the ground still as you can see right there uh not a ton left but we do still have some snow but this is a perfect way to get out clear your mind get the best practice you possibly can and have the time of your life so get out make it happen thanks for watching all right bye we are going to do one more. You can see that mushroom on that stump in the middle right here. That stump, you can see that mushroom at the top and then there's that black dot right below it, that knot hole right in the middle, that third black dot there in the center of that is actually a big old chewed out woodpecker hole. And I'm going to try to hit that. Uh, we're about, we're not that far away. We're probably 17 yards, 18 yards, but uh, we're going to zoom out so you can see it, but I'm going to try that. But what it wants to, I want to show you with this is if I do miss, that arrow is about four feet off the ground and we'll see where it ends up and we'll find it. Uh, so if I hit it, great. If I miss, uh, then we're going to see where that arrow, you know, see how hard it is to find that arrow. So let's give it a whirl here. Right in that knot hole is what we're looking for. And I did it. I blew right through it. Nice. So I actually hit that knot hole. It took it out. Um, it blew that knot hole apart. So that arrow's there, but it did kick off. It blew out the side of it and took off. So let's set down the, uh, leave the tripod here. Take you off of there. And let's go see what we can find on there and see what we got over there. See if we can find that arrow. Look like it just kicked off. But it's good, you know, again, it's a shot that may not have hit what you were thinking about or skipped off. And now that arrow might be somewhere that's a little trickier to find. I see it laying there already. But here's that knot hole I was aiming at right there. That's what I was aiming for. And you can see I hit right here. Right there is where I hit. And it blew out the side of this. But look, there's my arrow laying right there. Just sitting there ready and waiting for me. Uh, like I said, makes it really nice that it doesn't go, you know, they don't they don't get lost. It's just right there. Now I'm actually got to fish my way over these trees in there to get it. But just a sweet, simple setup. And like I said, pretty impossible to lose them with these judos. Uh, you don't really got to worry about it too much. They're, they're just sitting uh, right there waiting for you when you get to them.